Hey everyone, this is Johnny Unknows, and I'm playing Subnautica, the silent running update, and in this episode, we are gonna do a ton of building. We did a uh, considerable amount of farming for titanium in the last episode, and between then and now, I did a little farming and alterations to the base as well. So, uh, enter my home. Let's take a look. Alright, so what I did was, uh, first off, first and foremost, I uh, added another water purifier here. Uh, I was kind of running out of water. I mean, even with the still suit and with this, um, I still had to go and, you know, you know, get some bladder fish every so often. So I made two of them. The power's kind of holding up, kind of. I don't, I don't know what it's going to look like once we build the moon pools today. But, um, yeah, we're going to have to take a look at that and see whether or not we need to add some more thermal plants or not. But anyways, I also added a bunch of stuff to the walls here, including some component lockers here. So I got, you know, food and water, ingots, all, all those ingots that we got in the last episode, including a couple more of them. I, you know, got something for CPU, signals, I mean, I got it all organized. But check out what I did up here. I finished the lockers. Now, didn't think you guys would want to watch me build lockers at all, so I went and built them myself. There's five on each side. There's a label at the top that says exactly what's inside of that. So on this side, it's diamond, salt, titanium, uh, magnesium, and uranium. I don't think I have any of that yet. No, it's empty. But yeah, this is this allows me to basically loot as much as I possibly can and have a nice place to organize them in. All right, so now that I showed you the changes to the base, I, I also did add a corridor over here that goes to nowhere. I kind of wanted to have a little bit more space to throw down um, another locker, so that's what I did. I may do kind of like a, um, a nuclear power plant or a um, maybe like a bedroom would be kind of cool. Um, but I really don't want to spruce up this base. This is primarily my crafting and storage base. You know, that's pretty much all I want to do with it. So I'm going to go ahead and get my equipment and uh, let's get started with today's work. All right, I just realized that all I need is a habitat builder today. Okay, so uh, what we're going to build today is quite a few things. All right, so what we're going to build today is the Cyclops, the uh, you know power cell chargers. I'm hoping to make three of them. We're going to make a battery charger as well that I don't see here, as well as two moon pools. That's kind of where I'd like to start this episode. Um, I think what I'll do... Oh, also the vehicle modification stations as well. Um, but what I'd like to do is build all the stuff and then get the, um, and then get the Seamoth to a point where it's fully upgraded. We can put some color on it too and give it a name. But, uh, let's go ahead and get started with, um, let's get started with the moon pools. So each moon pool requires four lubricant, four titanium ingots, and an advanced wiring kit. So that's not going to be any problem for us after doing all that, uh, farming in the last episode. So let's go grab eight titanium ingot and throw it in the build box. So eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that was one too many. Nope, that was right. All right, so that's ingot. And then we need lubricant, which um, I've been collecting. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then some advanced wiring kits. So that was like, it was just one, right? Let's see. Just one... Yeah, advanced wiring kits. So advanced wiring kits requires a CPU plus two gold. So let's grab, oh, I always forget. There's a bug where if you go up a ladder and then open up a container while you're standing still, it bugs out like that. Let's grab two gold and uh, make some advanced wiring kits out of the CPUs that I built over here. All right, that's two CPUs. And here we go, let's do some electronics. Two advanced wiring kits. We're gonna have to keep a close eye on the hull of the base, but I think we overdid it a little bit with the reinforcements up top. But um, let's see if this fits as well. I'm a little bit concerned about that. So base pieces, moon pool. There we go. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, let's go get some air and then uh, we'll build the second one. Ah, uh, moon pool. Yes, yeah, so nice. All right, now let's do another one. I hope it's... Yeah, it's nice and lined up. Cool. Well, this is what our base looks like now. Get a... a wider shot. 
course it's dark. So I might add another room here. I'm not sure yet. I might do uh, maybe a power plant or something, but I think that's all I need for this particular base, but this is what it looks like. Two moon pools, a crafting area, storage area, food, and random room over here that maybe we can do like an aesthetic room and an observatory or something like that, but like I said, I want to make, I want to leave this base up to just functionality alone. Alright, so next up would be the vehicle, the vehicle upgrade consoles. So let's go take a look at what we need there. I think it's a little lower on the list. Actually, let me just do this. Be faster. So interior modules. Where is it? Here it is. Vehicle modification station. We need two computer chips, two titanium, and glass. Okay, so that's four chips. Four titanium. Four chips. Four titanium. I'm pulling from orange right now. Two, three, four. And then, I guess, glass, too. So let me see if I have any extra glass. I don't think I do, but I think I might have one. Yep, I do have one. And then we'll grab our quartz that's in here. I love it when everything's so organized. Make things so much easier. Oh, I'm such a happy boy. All right, let's head on over to... Oh, I'm going to have to put some signs up here. Yeah, I, I'll definitely do that. Look at this, our new moon pools. So cool. All right, so let's make a vehicle modification station right here. And then we'll make it on the other side. All right. Very nice. Let's go park our Seamoth. Like park it for really reals this time rather than just right in front of the door. It's going to be nice, too, because I always have to circle around to get into the base. So most of the time I come from this side, so the sea moth is definitely coming in from this side. Ooh, nice. Let's see which way we... Well, we jump up on the wrong way. Ooh, I don't know if I can tolerate that, but we can, we'll be all right with it. Also, checking the power usage. Yeah, it's dripping. It's dropping pretty quick. But, um, yeah, there wasn't much to charge on the sea moth, but... I'm at a point now where I've basically collected a lot of food and water, so I can let those uh, water purifiers kind of stay where they're at for the time being. All right, so yeah, let's let's make a little sign here. Uh, I think we've got some copper wire over here, a couple copper wire. There we go. And then we'll do this type of thing. Let's do miscellaneous sign. Why won't you let me put aside? Oh yeah, this is how I do it. It, it kind of gets in the way sometimes, but it works. All right, so we're gonna do um, moon pools. Make it blue. I wonder if I take the border away. That seems really weird, but can I still walk through it? Yeah, I wonder if the border actually causes collision. No, it doesn't. It's not bad. I like it. That looks good. Let's be real nerdy. And put two more signs up. And do this type of thing. Okay, put another one here. Gotta put it right in the center. Then I go sea moth. Put an arrow. Make it too bigger. Too bigger. Let's do a red, as I always make my Seamoth red. Is there different, uh... No, I guess it's the only arrow you can go with. Alright, that looks not even, but I'll fix it later. Alright, then we'll do this thing. I'll go prawn. Make it too big. Take that off, and make it yellow, because I always make my prawn suit yellow. Now, the names and the color of the sea moth is, uh, I let both of my sons basically pick out what they wanted to color it. And my son, being the way he is, he loves to, uh, color everything red and black, like I do, for whatever reason. So that's what we're gonna do. So, let's make this bad boy bl red, and then everything else will be black. Looking pretty.
And interior, I like, I, it doesn't really matter, but like a gold interior. Let's see how it looks. Looking pretty. Looking pretty. I, I definitely will probably turn this moon pool around at some point, but yeah, it looks nice. Take the uh, storage module out of there. Don't need that anymore. All right, so now that these two things are built, what's next? What is next? I'm thinking the Cyclops. And you know what? I think I might be able to make the uh, the prawn suit too. Oh, you know what? You know, actually, rather than having this whole episode be just kind of us sitting inside the base building stuff, then we'll go ahead and get the stuff for the aerogel as well. Uh, we already have a lot of aluminum oxide from when we went on over to the, uh, what's it called, the, uh, the Grand Reef. So what else were we going to build? Oh yeah, let's build the boring stuff first, then we'll build the cool vehicles. Because boring earlier is better than later. Anyways, power cell chargers, computer chip, wiring kit, glass, and titanium. So I need three of these. So that's three wiring kits, three computer chips, three glass, and titanium. So let's get the glass first. I did it again. Ugh, there it is. All right, three glass. Um, we're probably going to need some glass for the battery chargers too, so we'll get... Extra. One, two, three, four. I'll process all this glass. Do, 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 do. And if I haven't told you already, uh, if you hold down shift while you're crafting, it will keep this interface open. Making crafting a little bit faster. It's debatable, of course, but um, it's a little bit faster. All right, I'll grab some titanium from over here. I think it was two per. That's one, two, three, and we'll get some more. I have four titanium boxes. We're always in the middle here, but yeah. Oh, right, so let's see, can we make it yet? No, we need the wiring kits. One, two, three, and then CPUs. Okay, I think that was it, right? Let's see. Hmm, yep, we're good. So where I was thinking about putting this was I could easily put it in, you know, that's all, I'll put it right here. I'm just a little bit worried about, um, you know, kind of feeling a little bit cramped. These things kind of jut out a little bit. And you can see how it juts out in the middle. And I always, I always tend to like stack them too. But this time I'm going to make them horizontal. That way you can see exactly how much power is in each one. So I always make three of these guys so that uh, when we make the Cyclops, oh, what happened? I don't know what happened there. It just didn't feel like building anymore. Oh, okay. And then I'll put this one right here. So what I'm a little bit worried about is f things feeling cramped in this corridor. Yeah, this should be okay. All right, so now let's see what we need for the battery charger. Uh, like I said, it's so much easier just by using this thing, at which we're out of batteries. But we'll remedy that pretty quick. So, copper wire and computer chip. Easy. Copper wire. Oh, that's not where it is. Copper wire and computer chip. Good thing I made all these computer chips, huh? All right. So then, that's it. All right? Yeah. I guess that's it. We'll put the... Uh, yeah, if we put everything on one side, it won't feel so cramped. Okay, that's right. That's what I was thinking. My brain was going, you need a battery, Johnny. Come on, go get a battery. But as usual, I forgot. Oh, I definitely need to make a battery then. Okay, so let's make a battery. So we've got some go or copper here. A little bit of copper. I went over to the, um, the sea treader's path. I found a spot that you can uh, get there at around 300 meters, per, uh, meters down. <clears throat> All right, then let's get some table coral. And let's hop on down and make another battery. This is kind of sad because it's kind of nice that I had... Wait, what's wrong here? Oh, I don't need table coral. John, John A. John A. I need table coral. I need mushrooms. There you go. There you go. Yeah, let's make that battery. And pop it into the good old... Builder thingy majiggy. The habitat builder. <sighs> Never gonna re remember the names of anything in any game. But yeah, it was kind of sad that like we had a perfect amount of batteries. So all I'd have to do is throw these zero percents in the charger and then I wouldn't have an extra battery, but 
OCD kicking in. OCD kicking in. Oh, what am I doing? Let's go get the batteries. That's four empty batteries. Perfect. And let's build this guy and throw those batteries in there. I also have a couple of power cores to throw in there, too. This will be the test of whether or not this spacing works. Can we actually walk through that? Yeah, we can. It's not a big deal. All right, let's throw some uh, power cells in there, too. I always call them power cores or whatever. For whatever reason. Got four of them. That's cool. When we make the Cyclops, all we have to do is make two more. To have some batteries ready to go. And I don't know if the exploit of putting cell chargers inside of your Cyclops works anymore. It's something that I never did anyways. So yeah, don't worry about letting me know about, oh, Johnny, you could put power cell chargers inside the Cyclops and then you'll have free energy forever. And yeah, don't worry about that. I know. I know. I'm a weird gamer. I've got my uh, code of honor for weird things like that. Right, so that is our meal. Let's grab something to drink. Oh, I love it. It's so good. All right, so now that the chargers are all done, let's see if we can walk through here. Yeah, no problem. No problem at all. I'm not happy with these signs. They're not extravagant enough. Enough. Maybe I can put like a, a picture of something. And then, yeah, well, we'll figure it out later. Okay, so next up, some more interesting stuff. Let's go for a ride in the Sea Moth and let's go pick up some um, gel sacks. Let's do that. So what I'm going to do is get on over to the Sea Moth and we're going to make our way over to the Aurora. Oops. I have a hotkey on <laughs> on my mouse from, from Project Zomboid uh, where it hits F3. You control the time with F3, F4, F5 and Project Zomboid, and I have it on my mouse. Every every so often, I'll click it. It's very annoying. All right, so we're heading towards uh, one of these, or the last beam that you can see at the back of the Aurora. I just hope that Reaper hasn't moved from that spot. How much do we need for a uh, prawn suit, by the way? Here's, here's a prawn suit. We need two Aerogel. Uh, we haven't unlocked Aerogel yet. I don't think. So I think it's like two and two. I think we may need four, but we'll check. Or maybe just two. Either way, we'll find out as soon as we pick up one of them. And I need to remember that I didn't bring any equipment with me too, so this might be interesting. Or just, you know, a milk run. We'll find out right now. So what I'm doing is I'm lining myself up with the, the bar that's here. The last bar. You line yourself up, you'll see a trench, and inside the trench you'll see, um, maybe like a couple of, uh, couple of gel sacks. I think there's, yep, yeah, that's interesting that they're always in here. Okay, grab that guy. Mmm, blueprint. I was so sad when I didn't get that noise. So it is possible, if you want to, um, you can actually hit these with a knife and get the spores for that, and you can continue growing that all you want, or continue growing uh, gel sacks all you want. But um, so far in the game, there's no no need for that just yet, but it, there could be, so that could be something that um, we might change when we head on over to the Lost River. Let's grab two more, just in case. There we go. And then I'll see you when we get back to base. Yeah, this is much nicer than having to swing around the whole, uh, whole base. <laughs> I'm still irked by the direction. I, I'd rather just, you know, go through the door rather than having to go all the way around. I'm gonna see if I can turn the, uh, the moon pool around a little bit. Alright, so we have our gel sacks now, which should have unlocked a new aerogel. Yeah, so it's just two aerogels, so that only required two gel sacks and aluminum oxide, so let's... Do that. Where's our AO? AO's right here. Now I should have got a little bit more. Because I'm a little bit concerned that we may not have enough for all the pressure compensators. We don't, but um, we'll get some more. Not a big deal. Right, we'll make our gel sacks. Or our uh, arrow gel. There it is. One and 
two. I'll throw the other gel sacks inside the build box for now. I'm not actually using the build box as I want, but maybe I'll just change this to miscellaneous junk. All right. So then the next thing we need to build for the prawn suit is... Oh yeah, that also uses aluminum oxide. Interesting. Okay, so we need two lubricant and two plasteel ingots. Yeah, we may have to make a run over to the uh, Grand Reef. Get some more plasteel. So, uh, plasteel ingots... I'm sorry. One more... <laughs> my my short-term memory is... Needs some adjustment. Let's do that. And then, uh, what am I looking for? Lube? <laughs> I love my box of lube. It's disgusting. All right, let's get some lithium. I think it's in the green. Yep. Green, green, green. We're gonna have to make the plasteel ingots. All right, that's done. So I think we're good to go now. I think we have everything. Oh, nope, nope, just kidding. Just kidding, just kidding. Oh, there's so few of them. So few of them. All right, so let's head on over to the mobile vehicle bay, which I moved as well during my little hiatus between episodes. Yes, that's exactly what I hoped that would happen. It's nice. I didn't know you could pick it up from... I thought you had to... What? Oh, wait, wait a second. What's going on here? Deploy. This happened to me again. Climb. There it is. <laughs> All right. Uh, vehicles. Bronze suit. Mm, I love this whole building animation thing. Nice, let's go get it. Don't fall too far. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's go head on over to the proper moon pool. Get caught on everything. Yeah, the um <laughs> the prawn suit isn't that fun until you get the uh the booster upgrade. Not normally use it until everything's upgraded on it. Good that we made it. Now let's go ahead and uh, make it a different color. All right, so we're going to call this Wilhelm. There we go. And we'll go with yellow. Named after my youngest son, who's three. My oldest son is six. So we're going to go with black stripes. There it is. Oh, in the interior, about the interior, like that one red. That looks cool. Yeah, look, this side, this side's perfect. You come out and let's see. When we come out of it, do we go on the right or the left? Give it a little time to reset. And just fall to the ground, get some thruster power. <clears throat> there it is. Yeah, see? This is how I want it. Let's go through the door. Boom. Okay. Anyways, I'll stop complaining about that. Alright, so we got the we got the uh the moon pools, we got a bunch of stuff, we got the um the, the prawn suit. I always forget it because I keep wanting to say exosuit. Because that was what we all called it while we were waiting for it to be uh released. Alright, now for the big bad boy. Let's do the Cyclops. So that one requires five enamel glass, five plasteel ingots. And other stuff. Let's see. I think like an advanced wiring kit or something. It's close. Just needed two lubricant as well. Let's uh, make all the things then. Gonna need. Uh, we're gonna need ten quarts. Two, three. At six. Five quarts. It's always sad watching a uh, container empty itself. Also need some ingots. Two, three, four, five. Then what else do we need? We need teeth. I think I called it ST. I don't normally store teeth, but we got so much of it this time that I was like, okay, I guess we'll store it. This will help us make the enamel glass. And then uh, it was two lubricant, right? 
<laughs> I keep, I should pick up everything that's on one floor, then go to the bottom floor. I keep having to go back and forth. All right, so the other thing we needed was an advanced wiring kit, which we need some gold too. There we go. So let's make all the things. It's all the glass. Now let's do the enamel glass. This is glass and stalker tooth combined. All right, that's all the enamel glass. What am I? Oh, I'm missing lithium. <laughs> Derp. I'm missing lithium. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And that is all the plasteel ingot as well. So I think we're... Nope, nope. Still need one more uh, advanced wiring kit. Let's do that. I think that's all we need. And right off the bat, I'm going to grab that uh, Cyclops power efficiency module. All right, let's go do it. Oh, are, are you kidding me? It's dark. I'm not even going to be able to see it get made. Oh, I can't have that. All right, I'll be back when it's daytime, because we need to be able to see that Cyclops be made. Good morning. All right, let's go build our Cyclops. Gonna build the Cyclops. Gonna build all the fun stuff today. We're almost almost done. The first thing I want to see on this Cyclops is apparently there's another replicator inside of it. Let's see what it looks like. Oh my God, look at that thing. So beautiful. We're coming towards us? We're coming towards it? <laughs> it feels like it's getting closer. Don't get any closer. Don't drop on us, please. It is getting closer to us. Ah, love it. Let's see if it hits anything on the way down. No, that looks like a perfect spot. Just barely. Woo! Oh yes, please. Fart all over my Cyclops. Christened it with poop and fart. Oh good, it's already damaged somehow. I love how they're like, the Cyclops can't be damaged if you're not in it. I wasn't in it. Maybe it hit, maybe it hit something. All right. Any, any hostiles around? No? It must have hit something on the way down. That's cool, that's clear. A little bit of damage, not a biggie. All right, so let's give this a name. This one's for me. Big Daddy. I love this interface, it's so much cleaner. Red, black stripe, black stripe and black name, perfect. Big Daddy. All right, let's turn, uh, uh, we'll, uh, I don't know. Let's put the uh, power efficiency module in. That's no fun. I don't want to, I don't want to be in here in the dark. Turn the light in. That's, that's okay. Waste my power. Just a decoy launcher. Is there anything else you can do with this? No. So apparently there is another replicator in here. Put this guy in. Boom. Sounds like we're still bumping into things. Where is this replicator everyone talks about? <laughs> I can't see it. I don't see it. Oh, no. Oh, here it is. Upgrade. Power efficiency module. Nice. Do we get anything? Oh, yeah. We have to uh, find the uh, blueprint for this. Cyclops hull module. Shield generator. We have that one. Sonar docking bay repair. Fire suppression. What? We totally got the fire suppression, I thought. Didn't we? No, maybe not. Huh. I thought we did. No, I think the only three that we have are the, um... It was a shield generator, sonar, and docking bay. Never mind. I thought I had... I thought I had it. Oh, my mistake. My mistake. Okay, so for the remainder of the episode, I want to get the Seamoth all upgraded. But let's see if we have, en we have enough aluminum oxide for that. Because I think what the next episode is going to be all about, I think I'm going to do my grand tour, where what I normally do after the sea moth. Oh, my Cyclops already busted. A oh, stalker. So mean. But yeah, I, I do love getting that on video, where like 
the Cyclops cannot be damaged when you're not in it. I'm like, yes, yes it can. I was not even inside of it. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's do, um, God, I'm, I'm like, what is that? Who would build something that ugly? I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I did that. Okay, so let's head back inside. And uh, we're going to upgrade the Seamoth as much as we possibly can. So we've got a couple things to do. I want to build the Defense Matrix. I want to build the, the hull upgrade, which is like, what, two titanium or something like that? Let's go find out what we need first before we run off and try to get some stuff. So common modules. So we also need the pressure compensators too. So I need the power efficiency module, the hull and reinforcement. So these two are really easy. Um, and then what was the third, third one? Hmm. So I've got the pressure compensator. Those two. What else do I want? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the perimeter self defense system. And then I normally go with the sonar after that, but that's going to require some polyaniline. So let's go make that. Make some polyaniline and grab some titanium, a computer chip. Done with blue? Oh, we're not done with blue. Let's grab a couple. Bring some pee in a bag. Now, before I go downstairs, think about what you need, Johnny. Need a computer chip? Need polyaniline. So, deep, deep shrooms. So, I, I don't know how many we need, so I'll grab six. Oh, ah, come on, think about it before you go down. We need some salt, too. We need salt for uh, the polyaniline, or the, uh, what is it, the, uh, the acid. I think I need two. Well, let's just take a look at it real quick. So polyaniline needs gold and hydrochloric acid. Let's um, let's make two of them. Grab a couple here. Grab all the salt and then the deep the deep shrooms. B S. There it is. I don't know if I'll have enough, but that's okay. And then we need some gold. Whatever. I'm just overdoing it just so that I make I make sure I don't have to go up and down over and over again. All right, we need a computer chip as well for the uh, power efficiency. And uh, yeah, let's do the hydrochloric acid. There we go, hydrochloric acid. Make two of them. And then we'll make two polyaniline. That way we can make both the uh, defense matrix as well as the, uh, the sonar while we're doing it. So what did we need for the sonar? Ah, Christ, just run over there. Moon poles. That's why I have a sign. Okay. So we want the defense matrix. Oh yeah, what did this need? Magnetite. Okay. Alright, I have some of that. Eh, I'm gonna go get it. We're right back. Alright, we're back. <laughs> I've got everything. So we're gonna do the uh, perimeter defense system. And the sonar. And the hull reinforcement. And the power efficiency. So we're going to go with the defense first. And I might just keep the power... Uh, sorry, the uh, the sonar in my pocket for a little while. I'm not really sure which one I'm going to go with. Oh, on the wrong side. So picky. So picky. Right, let's put uh, the perimeter defense in a one slot. And hull reinforcement. Like, you can easily go with um, sonar rather than the hull reinforcement. Unless you drive like I do. All right. So that's all upgraded, so let me go put all this stuff away, and then we'll start working on the, uh, the pressure compensators. Alright, for the pressure compensators, we're going to need, uh, I think it's five plasteel ingot, uh, two aluminum oxide, as well as two computer chips. Easy peasy. Let's go grab some aluminum oxide. A-O, A-O. I still haven't uh, memorized where's, where's what so far in terms of color. And then we need plasteel, so that means we need lithium. It's in the same lane yet, it sure is. So we need five, one, two, three, four, five. And I think that's all we need from up here. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. And then let's get some ingots. One, two, three, four, five. And I think that's it. I, I, I still confused. I'm forgetting something. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, and then the two computer chips. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. All right. I'm going to go make the plasteel, and I'll see you guys when I'm done. All right, so the plasteel is all done. We got everything, so let's make the pressure compensators. Oh, we got to grab it from the Seamoth first. Go do that. Got to go all the way around. 
Wah. 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 All right. Here we go. Number one, or number two. <laughs> and number three. This is gonna give us 900 meters of depth in the Seamoth, and we are now at a point where we can use the Seamoth for what you're supposed to be using it for, which is exploration and discovery. So on the next episode, it's gonna be a very long one. I'll tell you that right now, it's gonna be about hour or more, but what's gonna happen is I'm going to go into full jazz mode. I'm, I'm gonna say hello, of course, in the beginning, and I'm gonna go in full jazz mode, and what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna make a ton of beacons, and then I'm gonna drive and travel to every location on the map. Uh, except for, of course, uh, the inactive lava zone because the Seamoth can't go down there because of the, the depth requirements. But everywhere else, I'm going to throw a beacon. And then what we're going to do is we're going to then um, start exploring each one of those beacons. So that's the next portion of the game where we need to find all the blueprints for the Cyclops. We're still missing quite a few, including the most important one, which is the hull upgrade, which I think is what's being replaced with the pressure compensator. What's up, Peeper? How you doing, buddy? Having a good swim? Yeah, so um, that's going to be the next episode where we're going to just explore everything in the game. I'm going to throw a beacon down, and then um, the episode after that is going to be all about um, maybe making some upgrades for the um, for the exosuit or the prawn suit. See? See why I pause? Because I say exosuit. And then whatever upgrades we can for the Cyclops. So um, yeah, that's what... It's going to be all about in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Johnny Onos. I'm playing some Subnautica. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next episode. Have a good one.